Can we really learn anything from this month of Cheshvan? And taking the opportunity to stop, breathe and kick some leaves during the Hebrew month of Cheshvan. In many ways, even though the biblical high holy days are full of richness and great blessings, we could almost look upon the month of Cheshvan as a sort of Shabbat, a Sabbath. Without a true Sabbath rest, how can we really know and hear the voice of the Lord? And as some old Jewish saying goes, if we don't know where we come from, how can we know where we're going? If we don't hear from the Lord, can we really expect him to bless us? Today, we live life at such a high speed. And in these days of all the turmoil that we see within the world, how we need to pause, reflect, take our Shabbats and spend time in quietness and reading the Word of God. So here's a challenge for you. Lay it down. Whatever it is demanding of you, it can wait. Lay it down. Lay it down at the feet of God himself. This month of Cheshvan, may we all allow God's Holy Spirit to be poured out, to allow him to flood all our areas, all the areas of trouble, the areas of worries, the areas of expense, the, 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 the things that we're seeing, Let's just lay them down and give it over to the Lord so that we can remain strong and faithful in our relationship with God. And for those of us who continue to stand with Israel, that we would have the ability to do that without being burnt out. <laughs>